Welcome back, guys. So I know it's been a hot minute, um, but I think it's time, time to have a bit of a conversation as to what I think uh, the future of the channel is and what I've been up to, what I'm doing, and where I intend to take things. So first off, uh, I know there hasn't been almost any content for several months. And that's kind of, kind of on me. So everyone knows, uh, if you've seen the last couple videos, that me and the wife had a kid. Um, you know, for the most part healthy. There, there were some complications at the beginning. Scary, but we're all here. Uh, I'm pretty sure I, I had a, a video telling y'all that I moved, but if you don't know, we moved. We're out of her parents' house, and we moved... Uh, closer to my work and closer to my parents. And so we're kind of halfway in between now, which is nice. Um, now that we have Connor, and I'm, I'm pretty close to my day job. So that makes things a lot less stressful. Uh, so over the last three months, mostly I've just been getting this house ready, uh, building furniture for us, and I should have videoed it but I was under such a time crunch that I, I, I couldn't take the time to, you know, set up angles and set up cameras and do all this other stuff. I wanted to. It would have been, it would have made great footage. I just wasn't able to. So there are a few other things that I have, uh, have to build for this apartment. I need to build another cabinet, another shelf set, uh, a bookshelf, um, coat rack, but my next project, and I'm definitely filming this, is the crib. I'm going to film it. I'm also I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going to release uh, plans for it as well. So, you know, that'll all be available to everybody. Um, I'll probably draw the plans up and release them for like five bucks or something. I don't know. Um, so there's that. What else is there? Content strategy. So right now I have three videos in the till that I'm waiting to edit and uh, upload for you guys. Two of them are finishing the Kitty Girl Boutique shop. <clears throat> and one of them is making really small C-clamps out of some uh, electrical conduit. It's applicable across all sorts of PVC and stuff for little pinch clamps and stuff, but it's, you know, the, a five minute project. Uh, and it's a way to get free clamps. So I think it'll be cool. It'll be really fast and easy to, to edit and update and, and upload to you guys. So I have those three. However, what I think I'm going to do is just hunker down, uh, shoot, and edit as much as I can up until January and then start releasing from there while still editing and, and, and uh, shooting stuff because uh, with the baby there might be weeks where I can't do anything or production is going to be slowed down so I want to give myself fluff and the best way to do that uh, and still get regular uploads is to create a backlog of videos. So that's what I think I'm going to do there. So you might have a couple releases between here and uh, January. And for that, you know, I, I do beg your indulgence. Uh, I know it's not ideal, but with a, with a new baby, um, I think that's the right move for me because I'm also not going to be able to get into the shop as often as I'd like. Uh, prior to this, I was going to the shop five, six days a week, you know, spending between five and seven hours there Monday through Friday and then a full day on Saturday. So, you know, uh, eight to 10 hours on Saturdays. So that was a lot. 
a lot of time, uh, a lot of time I'm not going to be able to spend. So, here, that's the thing. I thought I heard baby fussing. Um, still a lot of work to do around this, this apartment too, so I can't just, you know, neglect my wife and let her do everything. That's not fair. Um, on the positive side, I am starting to get business. I'm starting to get uh, a series of clients. Um, there's been a lot of fall throughs and setbacks the, rec the last recent two months, three months, as far as sales go, but eh, it's to be expected. Happens, life comes up, people's plans change, whatever. <sighs> Disappointing, but you know, I, I can't be mad about any of it. Two things that have been on my mind really, really bad the last six months, eight months, whatever. Um, and I can't afford them, but I want them so bad, is a, uh, a Glowforge, which is a laser engraving machine, and uh, a CNC router. And I've been trying to talk the wife into it, but uh, to no avail, at least not yet. Um, craft fairs were really hit and miss this year, but I didn't jump into it until, you know, the end of the year. And I didn't have a lot of back, back stock, so, but I made a couple hundred bucks. Um, so, you know, it kind of evens out and I have the shop rent paid for another five months. So I, I can't complain there on that front, but I think there's real promise there in that. Oh, he's starting to fuss. I got to cut the short. Uh, so there's real promise there, but not enough yet to uh, to get some automated systems. It's not going to stop me from trying. It's between you and me. <laughs> uh, no, really though, I think uh, I think a, a CNC router and the Glowforge, either both or one or the other, would really. Uh, amplify my work workflow, especially when it comes to creating uh, more of the high-end things like uh, the really nice expensive uh, coasters that I sell. There's uh, you know three slats of wood that are glued together and then I have a piece of metal in between them and there's you know different facets going around it so it kind of looks like it's floating. Um, so I'm gonna have to do a build video on that because they are really nice and they're expensive too. So I, I like it when I sell a couple. <laughs> um, what other videos do I have to do? I should have I should have filmed the routing table, but I didn't. But I got a router, made a routing table. Um, I'm hanging a bunch of tools on the walls now, just for my own sanity. I, I lose things so easily. You, you have no idea. You don't see it on film because I edit it out. But I'll set something down and I'll it'll be gone. Gremlins took it. So I need, I need to start putting things away and start putting things, you know, having designated spaces for my stuff. <sighs> yeah, fussing a little bit. Um, so I think I gotta do a couple tool hanging videos, which are very short, very easy, but useful. Um, what else is there? With the router, I, you know, I know I did a, a deck chair video way long ago. I want to start making those again and selling them as uh, uh, kits, I guess. Um, which I think would be, you know, handy for some people. You know, you just, you know, this plywood kit, you just take it, you, you screw it together, and boom, you have a beautiful deck chair. You know, like 300 bucks, something that'll last you forever. And that's actually comfortable for someone big like me to sit in. Sit back, spread your legs out, have a beer, watch the day go by. Um, I need to start doing my Manliest Mondays again. Those are easy to shoot, easy to produce, uh, easy to edit. You can tell I speak with a lot of uh, 
non-fluencies, the uhs and ums, and I stutter on some of my words. Um, and with the Manliness Mondays and the philosophy videos, uh, for the most part, it's just cutting those out and uh, cutting off any nonsensical tangents I wander down, because I do that from time to time, if you haven't noticed. Um, but I need to start doing those, uh, doing those again, because while they're not build videos, I think they really do increase the, uh, the depth of my channel and the worth of my channel because my channel is not, yeah, it, my tagline is creating one, a better world one curve at a time, but it's really just one small cut. Curve is just the material removed by a saw. Um, but one small cut at a time, one small piece at a time, one video, one thoughtful insight, uh, one cool piece of, you know, one cool project, um, one small thing. And I don't want this channel to be just a one trick pony. I know a lot of people say niche down and, you know, yada, yada, yada. But from here on out, I also want to build this channel so that, you know, especially with the Manliness Mondays, um, it's somewhere for my kids in the future to go. Uh, and God forbid if anything ever happens to me, they'll be able to know me through my videos. But somewhere where they can go in the future if I'm not in the picture for whatever reason and say, you know what, that's my father. That's a man. That's the kind of guy I want to be like. That's how I, I want to act. That's how I want to think. Those are the kind of projects and skills I want to have so I can make a better world too. So, a uh, bit of thoughts, bit of ramble, bit of update. And I know there's, you know, 300 some of you or 200 some of you on, you know, subscribers. And I appreciate each and every one of you guys and all of my patron members over on Patreon. You guys are incredible. You help me out way more than you, you know. Um, you guys give me the confidence that someone actually cares, deeply cares about me, my success, my family, enough to help support me financially in this endeavor. And I want you guys to know that now more than ever, do I need you, but also do I appreciate you? Um, and if you guys aren't Patreon members yet, go over to patreon.com backslash nightsmith. And even a dollar a month helps. You know, there, there's 300 some of you. If, if each of you gave me a dollar a month, that would mean the world. Um, even just to help with child care, uh, while I'm trying to make these projects and videos and all this other stuff for you. You know, I have to fret less, fret a little bit less at the shop. Um, I don't have to be as worried at the office because I, I know you guys have my back. You guys want more. You guys are interested and invested in me, my family, and my success. So, then I know Patreon, you know, thank you Patreon days, uh, a few days past last Thursday, I think it was. <sighs> Pardon me, it's 11 something at night. Um, but be that as it may. Uh... Anyways, he's starting to wake up and fuss around, so I need to go take care of him, probably change a diaper. Um, yay, joys of fatherhood. Woo! <laughs> uh, so, guys, thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. I probably won't see you until after Thanksgiving, so, you know, everyone in the United States, happy Thanksgiving, guys. Uh, use this not as a day to go shopping or anticipate going shopping on Black Friday. Use this as a day to appreciate your family. Give thanks for what you have, not what you can afford, not what you can do, not what you already have. Look around, take stock of your life and give thanks. Thanks for watching guys. I appreciate it. I appreciate you and thank you for helping me make this world better. One curve at a time. I need to go take care of my son and I'll see you later.